Thank you for your willingness to do the work necessary to become a lead training facilitator. This video is the final installment in the Prescribing Opioids for the Chronic Pain Train the Trainer video series for the Federated States of Micronesia. In total, ASTO has developed four supplemental videos for this training, the overview, group activity, and wrap-up videos, part one and part two. This is the final trainer wrap-up video. Please watch all four Train the Trainer videos in order as they are your guide to a successful experience as a trainer. This video summarizes the information covered in the supplemental Train the Trainer video series. It also reviews material resources and final preparations needed to lead a successful training session. Having the most up-to-date and relevant prescribing information about opioids is critical when treating patients. Determining when to initiate, continue, or cease opioids for treating chronic pain can mean the difference between relief, misuse, and abuse. Let's begin by reviewing the last three supplemental Train the Trainer videos. The first Train the Trainer video provides an overview of the training with emphasis on the curriculum's first four pages of FSM's Opioid Prevention and Response Training Curriculum. Prescribing Opioids for Chronic Pain, it covers the three key pillars of the guideline, reviews terminology important for the trainer, examines the rationale of the guidelines, outline group activities, and offer recommendations for group size and timing. It includes learning and practice objectives, materials, curriculum handouts and resources, and offers instructions about where and how to access materials. The second video looks at what to do when prompted to pause for a group activity in the curriculum. It instructs participants on how to conduct group discussions and role-playing exercises. It helps show trainers how to encourage and lead a clinical dialogue while having colleagues and contemporaries share best practices and discuss answers to tough questions. The video wraps up with guidance for organizations of small group breakout sessions. The third video is the training wrap-up video, part one. It shows the trainer how to close out the prescriber's training session. It reviews frequently asked questions and directs trainers where to find answers for tough questions. It also explains how to conduct pre and post assessments and suggests when to distribute awards. For this video, we'll start by reviewing the handouts, references, resource videos, and links in the FSM prescribing opioids for chronic pain training curriculum. Reviewing them in advance will help you, as the trainer, become familiar with the content. All appendices are training handouts located in the curriculum beginning on page 28 through page 38. We have reviewed many of these handouts in detail in prior Train the Trainer videos. Be sure to have copies of each appendix to hand out to participants for training. Before starting any training session, remember to use Appendix K, the sign-in sheet located on page 41 of the curriculum. Have the sign-in sheet available as participants arrive. There are many items that each training facilitator must review before the first scheduled training session. The Prescribing Opioids for Chronic Pain training curriculum includes supplemental materials and resources, including video and web links, documents, handouts, and clinical tools. Before referring to these items specifically, let's look at what you should review before leading your first scheduled training. The training curriculum and supplemental Train the Trainer videos will tell you when to use or access all training materials during instruction. The resources listed on page 22 will help guide you when and where to reference and access clinical tools to facilitate an enhanced learning experience. Next, you should make yourself familiar with the prescribing opioids for chronic pain training curriculum. Read it in its entirety and become familiar with the trainer scripts trainer prompts, and trainer notes. Also, pay close attention to the knowledge and practice objectives and the specific learning objectives for the Train the Trainers, located on page two. Be sure to watch the Prescribing Opioids for Chronic Pain training video. This video will give you a better idea of the flow and pace of the content you will cover as a training facilitator. Next, return to page one of the curriculum to review all necessary materials, handouts, and other resources before your first scheduled training. The materials list contains links to documents such as the pharmacist brochure and guideline recommendation fact sheets, clinical and diagnostic tools including calculating dosage, and checklists for prescribing opioids. There are reference guides listed such as the quick reference for healthcare providers and the tapering pocket guide. ASTHO also has compiled an extensive list of medical governing body website links, documents, scholarly briefs, and clinical tools. These can be found on pages 26 and 27. 
You will refer to all of these resources throughout the training, so it is essential to become familiar with them before your first session. We encourage all trainers to complete each of the CDC training modules on opioids. If you have a smartphone, you can download the CDC's Opioid Prescribing Guideline mobile app to give you a quick and easy access to the information you need to know about treating patients with chronic pain. We've covered a lot of information in this training. FSM's Prescribing Opioids for Chronic Pain training curriculum and the Trainer Trainer videos are designed to provide you and other prescribers with the tools and knowledge to treat patients with chronic pain while working to reduce opioid misuse. ASTHO includes a post-assessment identified as Appendix N, prescribing opioids for chronic pain trainer trainer questions, developed just for trainers. As the one leading others through training, take this post-assessment after reviewing the curricula, ASTHO supplies, toolkit resources, including web links, documents, and validated screening tools. Our goal is to prepare you to teach others the key recommendations in the CDC guideline for prescribing opioids while helping your participants understand why a guideline is needed and the benefits of following this guidance. On behalf of the ASLO team, thank you for volunteering to become a trainer and for taking the time to learn about the most up-to-date and relevant opioid prevention and response methods available for your practice and your community. We hope the information presented today by ASTHO gives you the tools to better understand the CDC's guideline. You are now equipped to train others in the prevention of opioid misuse and overdose.